the age of folding phones is finally upon us. First, there was the Samsung Galaxy Fold, a phone that expanded into a tablet. Then came the Motorola Razr, a device that condensed into half its footprint for the pocket. And now, Samsung is punching back with the Galaxy Z Flip, a smartphone about the size of the Galaxy S20 Plus when it's open, and about the size of a coaster when it's closed. Now, some people say there's less utility in a phone that simply gets smaller for portability. So Samsung has built in an extra feature to make the Z Flip a little more practical. See, the hinge is semi-rigid, and Samsung worked with Google to create a flex mode in Android 10 that splits the display into top and bottom halves. That means you'll be able to prop the phone up like a tiny laptop for video calls or for self-portraits, or to run two apps at once. That dovetails nicely with the fashion-first, vlogger-centric crowd that Samsung seems to be targeting here, at least if the ads are any indication. It's a shame that the front-facing camera isn't wide-angle for those folks. Same old 80-degree lens on this one. But around back, the news is better. The Z Flip comes with standard and ultra-wide primary cameras, which, <laughs> if your eyes are good enough, you can also use for selfies. Yep, this is your exterior display. It's almost comically tiny, but on the bright side, there is a touch layer, so you can answer calls or wake up the clock with a tap. Still, you'll almost certainly want a smartwatch, so you don't need to flip the phone open every time you get a message. Aside from that, the Z Flip really doesn't skimp on features. Not only is the battery bigger than I expected, given the foldable form factor, but it's also got wireless charging on board, and you can reverse that flow, so you can charge Galaxy Buds or a smartwatch right on the back of the device. The display offers high brightness, packs a fairly high pixel density, and instead of plastic, like the Fold and Razer, it's covered by something called ultra-thin glass. That means it should be more resistant to scratches, but it doesn't mean we avoid the big old crease down the middle. At least you don't notice it as much when the screen is on. And Samsung has thought out those fundamentals that matter on the day-to-day, -day, like a side-mounted fingerprint sensor that's easy to find and snappy to respond, and yes, of course, the ability to hang up on someone with a satisfying clack. Satisfying. As for the hinge, it feels very sturdy, much like the one on the Galaxy Fold. And as part of the folding phone's never-ending battle with dust entering the mechanism, there's also a hidden layer of nylon fibers within the hinge to keep the interior as sterile as possible. And it's not nearly as noisy as the one on the Razer. By the way, folks, I will be putting the Razer and Z Flip to a head-to-head -head comparison very soon. Be sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel for that. This is just a hands-on, so let's button it up before my voice totally gives out. The Galaxy Z Flip is exciting to me because I love the versatility of a phone that can be full-size when I'm using it and half-size when I put it away. And I'm excited that Samsung added additional functionality with the rigid hinge and flex modes. But we're still on the bleeding edge of foldables, and that means not only is this phone compromised, with last year's processor and a less capable camera than the new S20 line, it's also pricey, at a Jackson shy of $1,400. And still, that's substantially less than the Galaxy Fold and cheaper even than the Razer. So if you're dying to get in on the ground floor of the foldable craze, well, this is the most affordable option. As I said in my last video, function over form folks will want to spend their money on the S20 family instead. But like the Razer, this phone is built for people who wouldn't know a Snapdragon from the rest of the spec sheet. They want something that changes shape to fit the needs of the moment. And yes, they want something that turns heads. That's why this phone is launching during New York Fashion Week, after all. The Galaxy Z Flip debuts Friday, February 14th, but my final verdict will be coming after that Razer comparison in a full review. So tiny. This hands-on was made possible by a Samsung press event in New York City. The company did not receive a preview of this video, nor was it granted any copy approval. Samsung is seeing this for the first time right alongside you. Please subscribe if that's the kind of video you'd like to see more of. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.